Okay boss, Carl here. Let's get this team up and running. The first thing we need to do is register a team name and bring in some important partners. First, enter a team name. Now, let's choose our primary sponsor for this season. Some sponsors offer a larger signing bonus up front. Some offer more weekly income. The better we perform, the more our level will go up as the team gains more acclaim. Doing this will increase the income from our sponsors. Our chassis won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit, so let's sign one of those now. Obviously the better the performance and durability, the better, but be careful about spending all our cash. We're going to have people and facilities to invest in as well. Power unit suppliers will also provide upgrades throughout the season at no extra cost. We're not much of a team without a second driver. Let's sign a teammate. Here are the drivers interested in joining our team. Look at their stats and pick someone you think can get us good results, as long as we can afford them. Oh, and we renew contracts every few races, so you'll have plenty of chances to sign someone else should the need arise. Looks like we can afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you're happy. Let's select or edit the livery we'll be running this season. We can add more sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from HQ. Now we need a badge for our team branding. Select an existing badge, edit it, or create one from scratch. Last but not least, we need to pick team colours for the rest of our branding. You'll see these colours throughout HQ. Great, that's everything we need. You can go back and edit anything we've done so far and we'll come back here at the start of each season. But if you're ready to go, hit advance to head to Team HQ and we can start our push to the top of Formula One.
Okay, we're live in five, four, three. Hello folks and welcome to the HQ of Formula One's newest team. We've been invited backstage to gain an exclusive insight into what could be one of the most exciting entries in the sport for many years. Now we've seen a number of new teams enter the sport over the last decade, amongst their number Manor, Caterham, HRT and of course Haas. And while some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into different teams and some have disappeared completely. What marks this team out, though, as being something different is that its owner is also its driver. Now, there's a rich history of that in Formula One, too. Sir Jack Brabham, John Surtees, Graham Hill and Bruce McLaren all drove their own cars in the sport. But it has become increasingly rare in recent years. What's very special about this team, though, is that, that while the team itself is new to Formula One, so, too, is its driver and owner. Whatever happens this season, you've already made the history books. Tell me, do you feel up to the mammoth task of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Every team needs two drivers, but what was it that drew you to your teammates? No one aims to finish bottom of the table. Who's the team you're aiming to beat? How are you expecting the car to feel out on track? The other teams now have years of experience, both on and off the track. How are you planning to catch up to them? Overtaking is a key part of this sport. How have you ensured that your car can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way? And finally, which of your new departments are you most proud of? Well, that's about all we've got time for here. We will see how this fledgling team fares in its first Grand Prix. OK, great. Thank you. That's a wrap. Our new parts have been completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend.